For the first time ever, a large insect known as the murder hornet is now in the United States. Researchers say the Asian hornet was first spotted in Washington state in December. In Japan, it's known to kill up to 50 people a year. Well, now that it's been spotted here, will it have an impact? Dominic Garcia on this story for us tonight. And Dom, maybe the biggest concern is will it hurt our beloved bees? Well, Karen, they definitely have a scary name, don't they? But we were curious, is this actually something we need to worry about here in Colorado? And it turns out we weren't the only ones asking that question. Brand new fresh wax. When we called Greg McMahon, he knew what it was about. It's everybody's calling me about murder hornets. The name alone has people scared. People don't want an itty bitty bee landing on them, let alone something like that. Greg owns Rocky Mountain Bee and specializes in the removal, rescue, and education of the insect. He says the Asian giant hornet is big and can get up to two inches. New York Times reports they kill people in Japan every year and could wreak havoc on the bee population here. They're monstrous. They have huge mandibles on them. And they will go into a beehive and they will chomp every bee in half in a beehive in about 30 minutes. Several sightings have been verified in Washington, and Greg says it's possible they came over on shipping containers. To stop them, he says the key is finding their hives and destroying them. We're trying to put a stop to it before it gets out of hand. Greg says when it comes to Colorado, it's not an ideal home. They don't like the elevation, so I would think that we're relatively safe here in Colorado. But if it were... And I'm half excited and yet half nervous, but, you know, I would love to go in and, and tackle a giant Asian hornet nest, you know. That would just be flat-out good fun for me. So we will leave that to him, which are much more likely to see this time of year are just normal bees. It is swarm season. Greg says you'll, if you see one in a park, maybe by your house, call the professionals. He actually does the dispatching to get swarms in the metro area. We have information on how to call in a swarm on our website, cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.